The Grand Slam of North American Wild Sheep has been around since Gransel Fitz coined the phrase in 1947. Less than a decade later, the Grand Slam Club was founded by Bob Householder in 1956. The recipients here tonight prove the Grand Slam is as important today as it was to Gransel Fitz and Bob Householder in the beginning. We'll be breaking this large number of Grand Slammers into groups, so please hold your applause until everyone in each group has been introduced. For you Grand Slammers, we ask you to please quickly make your way to the stage as your name is called. Now for our first group. Timothy Ida of Ohio began his Grand Slam quest back in 2004 with a Rocky Mountain Bighorn from Wyoming. His next Ram, an Alaska Doll, came in 2010, and the following year, Tim traveled to NWT, where he took a Fannin Ram in the McKenzie Mountains to become a three-quarter slammer. Tim completed Grand Slam number 1928 in April 2016 with the Desert Bighorn from South Baja, Mexico. Grand Slam number 1972 was issued to Mark Peterson of Michigan. Mark's sheep hunting career started in 2011 with a stone from British Columbia. Next was an NWT doll sheep in 2012. Mark reached the three-quarter slam level with a desert bighorn from Sonora also in 2012. Mark completed his grand slam with an Alberta bighorn in 2013. It was a Desert Bighorn from South Baja that completed Grand Slam number 1977 for Clint Ward of Georgia. That final ram was taken in 2017. Backing up, Clint's doll sheep came from Alaska in 2005. In 2008, Clint got a stone sheep in British Columbia. Clint's three-quarter slam ram was a Rocky Mountain Bighorn from Idaho in 2010. Shane Edgar of Nevada became documented Grand Slammer number 2019 after registering a desert bighorn he took from Nevada in 2017. Shane's first ram was a doll sheep taken in NWT in 1994. In 1997, Shane traveled to British Columbia and took a stone sheep. Shane added a California bighorn from Nevada to become a three-quarter slammer in 2014. Grand Slam number 2020 has been permanently assigned to Zeev Niederman of Texas. Zeev's Grand Slam journey began in 2006 when he traveled WT in search of doll sheep. Zeev took a Rocky Mountain Bighorn in Colorado the following year to become a half slammer. In 2014, Zeev connected on a stone sheep in British Columbia and he achieved his Grand Slam in January 2018 with a desert bighorn from Mexico. Hailing from Colorado is Brandon Raystead, who was assigned Grand Slam number 2021. Brandon took an Alaska doll sheep in 2013 as his first ram. Brandon's stone sheep was taken from British Columbia in 2015. Then in 2016, Brandon used archery equipment to take a Rocky Mountain Bighorn in Colorado. Brandon's Grand Slam was achieved in 2018 with a Carmen Island, Mexico Desert Bighorn. Our next Grand Slammer is Brian Kimball of Kansas, who now holds documentation number 2022. Brian's first ram in his quest was a doll sheep taken from Alaska back in 1988. In 2009, Brian took a stone sheep from British Columbia. Then in 2010, Brian scored with a Wyoming Bighorn. Brian achieved his Grand Slam in 2018 with a Desert Bighorn from Carmen Island, Mexico. John Tangy of Alberta became documented Grand Slammer number 2024 after registering a desert bighorn that he took from South Baja in 2013. John's first ram was an Alberta bighorn taken in 1994. The following year, he took a stone sheep from British Columbia. It was in 1998 that John collected his doll ram in NWT. Doug Bardoon of Washington holds documented Grand Slam number 2027. Doug's first ram on his Grand Slam journey was a unique stone sheep from British Columbia in 2001 you see here on the screen. His doll sheep came from Alaska only a year later. Doug hunted in Alberta during 2006 and collected a Rocky Mountain Bighorn. Doug's Grand Slam was completed in 2017 with a Desert Bighorn from Nevada. Jeff Campagna of Illinois holds documented Grand Slam number 2031. Jeff's first ram on his Grand Slam journey was a doll sheep from Alaska in 2016. 
His Rocky Mountain Bighorn came only a month later in Wyoming. Jeff became a three-quarter slammer in 2017 with a stone sheet from British Columbia. Jeff's Grand Slam was completed in 2018 with a Desert Bighorn from Sonora. Our next two Grand Slammers are brothers Bill and Michael Kennedy of Colorado. We're able to give them consecutive numbers of 2033 for Bill and 2034 for Michael. Actually, Bill did complete his Grand Slam first by taking a Desert Bighorn from South Baja in 2018. Michael was two days behind by also taking a Desert Bighorn from South Baja. Moving back to Bill, we find that he took a doll sheet from Alaska in 1995. In 1997, Bill took a Colorado Bighorn. It was in 2013 that Bill took his stone sheep from British Columbia. Now moving to Michael, he took his Colorado Bighorn back in 1987. Michael then added a doll sheep on a hunt in Alaska during 1999, and Michael's stone sheep came from British Columbia in 2012. That completes Group 1. And now for our next group. Mike Hagen of Minnesota became documented Grand Slammer number 2036 after registering a Desert Bighorn he took from South Baja in 2018. Mike's first ram was a stone sheep taken from British Columbia in 2013. Next was Wyoming Bighorn taken in 2014. Mike became a three-quarter slammer in 2015 with an Alaska doll sheep. Chris Mannion of Alaska holds documented Grand Slam number 2040. Chris's first ram on his Grand Slam journey was a Desert Bighorn from Coahuila, Mexico in 2015. Chris took a home state doll sheep in 2016. Then in 2017, Chris became a three-quarter slammer after taking a California Bighorn in Utah. Chris's Grand Slam was completed in 2018 with a stone sheep from the Yukon. Our next Grand Slammer is Corey Smith of North Dakota, who now holds documentation number 2042. Corey's first ram in his quest was a Desert Bighorn taken from Sonora, Mexico in 2013. In 2014, Corey took a doll sheep from the Brooks Range of Alaska. Then in 2017, Corey scored with a California Bighorn from British Columbia. Corey achieved his Grand Slam the following year while hunting in the same province where he took his stone sheep. Scott Sumrall of Louisiana holds documented Grand Slam number 2043. Scott's first ram on his Grand Slam journey was a Desert Bighorn from Sonora, Mexico in 2014. His stone sheep was next and was taken in British Columbia in 2016. In 2017, Scott took his Rocky Mountain Bighorn from Utah. It was a doll sheep from NWT that completed the Grand Slam for Scott in 2018. Next up is Brett Hemmerling of Colorado, who was assigned Grand Slam number 2044 after taking a stone sheep from the Yukon in 2018. Backing up, Brett's first ram was a doll sheep from Alaska in August 2014. Only a month later, Brett managed to take a Rocky Mountain Bighorn from his home state of Colorado. It was in 2017 that Brett took a Desert Bighorn once again from his home state of Colorado. We are pleased to announce that Dominic Cottrell of West Virginia has been assigned Grand Slam number 2046. Dominic started with a Rocky Mountain Bighorn from New Mexico in August 2015. Only a few months later, Dominic hunted in Utah and was able to take a Desert Bighorn. In 2017, Dominic became a three-quarter slammer by taking a stone sheep from British Columbia. Dominic completed his Grand Slam in 2018 with a doll sheep from Alaska. Grand Slam number 2048 belongs to Leon Phillips of Wyoming. Leon began his quest for the Grand Slam back in 1978 with an Alaska doll sheep. In 1985, he traveled to British Columbia, where he took a stone ram to become a half slammer. Leon took a break from sheep hunting for several years, but in 2016, he became a three-quarter slammer after taking a home state Wyoming bighorn. 
Leon's final ram, a desert from South Baja, Mexico, came in March 2018. Like so many others, Alan W. Smith of Texas began his sheep hunting career with the Thin Horns. His first ram, an Alaska doll, came in 1995. Up next for Alan was his stone ram from British Columbia, taken in 1998. In 2006, Alan connected on a home state desert bighorn in Texas to become a three-quarter slammer. He completed Grand Slam number 2050 in September 2018 with an Alberta bighorn. Grand Slam number 2052 has been assigned to Brent McNamee of Ontario, Canada. Brent went after the Thin Horns first and took both his doll and stone in the same month back in August 2016. His doll ram was from the Yukon and he connected on a dark stone sheep in British Columbia. Brent definitely had sheep beaver and the following year he traveled to Sonora, Mexico to get ram number three, an impressive desert bighorn. Brent's Grand Slam journey came to an end in September 2018 when he connected on an Alberta bighorn. Up next is Grand Slammer number 2053, who is Mark Wayne of Texas. Mark completed his Grand Slam with a desert bighorn in Carmen Island, Mexico in December 2017. Mark's first three rams all came in consecutive years, starting with his stone from British Columbia, taken in 2000. The following year, Mark scored on an Alberta bighorn and became a three-quarter slammer in 2002 with a doll ram from the Alaska Range. Eric Cuban of Wyoming has been permanently assigned Grand Slam number 2054 after taking a dark stone ram from British Columbia in September 2018. Eric's first ram toward his eventual Grand Slam was a home state Rocky Mountain Bighorn taken in 2012. Eric took two rams in 2016, the first being his desert Bighorn from South Baja, Mexico, and later that year he became a three-quarter slammer after connecting on an Alaska doll ram. Grand Slam number 2055 goes to John H. Stevens of Mississippi. John's first North American ram was a doll sheep from Alaska taken in 2012. Up next was a British Columbia stone ram taken the following year. John traveled to Sonora, Mexico in 2017 where he took a desert bighorn to get his three-quarter slam status. So the stage was set and in September 2018, John connected on a California bighorn in British Columbia to complete his Grand Slam milestone. That completes Group 2. And now for our next group. Greg Holmes of Alabama now holds Grand Slam number 2056. Greg's first ram toward his Grand Slam an Alaska doll sheep came in 2007. Up next for Greg, was the stone and he took that ram on a hunt in British Columbia back in 2011. In 2015, Greg connected on a desert bighorn in South Baja, Mexico to become a three-quarter slammer and he finished his Grand Slam in October 2018 with the Rocky Mountain Bighorn from Alberta. Grand Slam number 2057 belongs to Colorado Stephen Neal. Stephen hunted the Brooks Range of Alaska in 1997 to take a doll sheep as his first North American ram. From there, it was a home state Colorado Bighorn in 2002, taken self-guided. And in 2014, Stephen traveled to the Yukon where he took his three-quarter slam ram, a light-colored stone. Four years later in October 2018, Stephen completed his Grand Slam with an outstanding desert Bighorn from New Mexico. We'd now like to recognize Grand Slammer number 2058, Dean Hikes of Pennsylvania. Dean began his Grand Slam journey in 2005 with a doll ram from the Alaska Range. He took a dark colored stone ram on a hunt in British Columbia in 2014, and the following year, Dean added a Rocky Mountain Bighorn from Colorado to his North American sheep list. After remaining a three-quarter slammer for three years, Dean took his final ram in March 2018, a desert ram from Sonora, Mexico, to complete his Grand Slam. Kyle Miller of Pennsylvania has been assigned Grand Slam number 2063 and is actually halfway to his second Grand Slam. Kyle's first doll ram was taken in Alaska in 2016. His first stone ram 
came in 2017 and it was taken on a hunt in the Yukon. Kyle traveled down to Sonora, Mexico in 2018 in pursuit of a desert sheep, which got him to the three-quarter slam mark. And he completed his Grand Slam in September 2018 with the Rocky Mountain Bighorn from Alberta. It was 13 years start to finish for Sean Harris of Georgia to complete his Grand Slam number 2064. Sean's first ram toward his Grand Slam was a Rocky Mountain Bighorn from Wyoming, taken in 2005. In 2009, Sean traveled to the Yukon where he connected on a doll ram. His three-quarter slam ram was a Desert Bighorn from Utah, taken in 2012, and Sean completed his Grand Slam with a stone sheep from British Columbia in August 2018. Gerald Rearson of Minnesota achieved Grand Slam number 2069 with the Desert Bighorn from Mexico in November 2018. Backing up, Gerald's first ram, a Rocky Mountain Bighorn from Wyoming, came back in 2006. Up next is Gerald's doll ram taken from Alaska, which he took in 2008 on a hunt in the Wrangell Mountains. Gerald became a three-quarter slammer when he took a stone ram in British Columbia in 2012. It was a 52-year journey from start to finish for John Macaluso of Pennsylvania to achieve his Grand Slam, number 2076. His first Ram Adult came way back in 1966 from Alaska's Brooks Range. The stone was up next for John, and he took that Ram in 1985. In 1987, John added an Alberta Bighorn to his list to become a three-quarter slammer. John held that three-quarter slam status for 31 years until December 2018, when he took a Desert Bighorn on a hunt in Arizona to complete his Grand Slam. Grand Slam number 2078 was assigned to Rick Frazier of Texas after he took a Desert Bighorn in Sonora, Mexico in early January 2019. Rick's first ram toward his eventual Grand Slam was an Alaska doll taken in 2012. From there, Rick hunted stone sheep in BC in 2015, connecting on a great ram. Rick's three-quarter slam came in 2018 on the hunt in Alberta, where he got a Rocky Mountain Bighorn. That completes our Grand Slammers for 2019, but remember, we still have the Archery Slams, the Lady Grand Slams, and the Multiple Slammers to go. So let's give them all one more big round of applause. Each year we recognize Archery Grand Slam separately. Those slams have their regular Grand Slam documentation number, but they have an additional number representing an Archery Grand Slam. To date, there have been only 72 documented Archery Grand Slams. Arkansas's Alan Ladd holds Archery Grand Slam number 69 and Grand Slam number 2039. Alan's first ram was a doll he arrowed in 2004 on a self-guided hunt in Alaska's Brooks Range. Next up for Allen was a Carmen Island, Mexico Desert Bighorn he took with archery equipment in 2014. His arrow struck its mark on a Rocky Mountain Bighorn during 2015 on a hunt in Colorado. Allen completed his archery Grand Slam in 2018 with a stone sheep from British Columbia. The 70th person to complete an archery Grand Slam is Jim Wingham of Montana. Jim's first archery ram was a home state self-guided Rocky Mountain Bighorn he took in 1997. Jim got his archery Nelson Desert Bighorn in Nevada on another self-guided hunt in 2004. It was in 2014 that Jim traveled to British Columbia and arrowed a stone sheep to become an archery three-quarter slammer. Jim achieved his archery Grand Slam as well as his second Grand Slam in August 2018 after arrowing a doll sheep in NWT. Archery Grand Slam number 72 belongs to Bernie Camps of Michigan. Bernie's first ram was a Rocky Mountain Bighorn from Alberta taken in 2007. Next up for Bernie was his Desert Bighorn from New Mexico that he arrowed in 2013. Bernie became a three-quarter slammer in 2016 after arrowing his stone ram in British Columbia. His final ram for the Archery Grand Slam was a doll ram from the Yukon taken in 2018. We're pleased to recognize bow hunter Frank Noska of Alaska for completing his second archery Grand Slam. Frank has done a tremendous amount of bow hunting 
and you saw one of his many archery doll rams earlier. That ram was taken in 2012 and is his largest doll. Frank arrowed a fan and ram in 2017 and in March 2018, he traveled to Sonora, Mexico to collect his second desert bighorn. Frank completed his second archery grand slam with a tremendous Rocky Mountain bighorn from Alberta in September 2018. Well, that concludes this year's group of archery grand slammers. Let's give them all a big round of applause. As with the archery grand slammers, we recognize lady grand slammers separately. Those slams also have regular grand slam documentation numbers with an additional number representing the sequence as a lady grand slammer. Grand Slam number 686 and Lady Grand Slam number 25 was issued to Angel Edgar of Nevada back in 1996 when she took a home state Desert Bighorn as her final ram toward the Grand Slam. Angel took her first three rams in three consecutive years, starting with a Wyoming Bighorn taken in 1985. Her stone ram from British Columbia was taken in 1986. And in 1987, Angel traveled to NWT where she connected on a doll sheep. Janelle Mannion of Alaska became permanent Grand Slammer number 2041 and Lady Grand Slammer number 66 after taking a stone sheep from the Yukon in 2018. Janelle's first ram was a desert bighorn from Coahuila, Mexico in 2015. Next came a doll sheep from her home state of Alaska in 2016. Janelle became a three-quarter slammer with a California bighorn from Utah in 2017. Lisa Fox, who also hails from Alaska, completed Grand Slam number 2060 and Lady Grand Slam number 68 in October 2018 with the Rocky Mountain Bighorn from Montana. Lisa's first ram toward her Grand Slam was a Desert Bighorn from Nevada taken back in 2008. She took a home state doll sheep in 2015 to become a half slammer and her three quarter slam ram, a non-typical stone from BC, came in August 2018. Grand Slam number 2068 and Lady Grand Slam number 69 belongs to Catherine de Blasio of Idaho. Catherine's first ram, a Rocky Mountain Bighorn from Montana, came in 2017. She traveled to NWT in 2017 and connected on a fine doll ram. Catherine's third ram was a heavy horn stone sheep from British Columbia, which she took in August 2018. So the stage was set, and in November 2018, Catherine finished her Grand Slam with a Desert Bighorn from Carmen Island, Mexico. That concludes our Lady Grand Slammers of 2019. Once again, let's give them all a big round of applause. When it comes to sheep hunting fever, some people accept the challenge to take multiple Grand Slams. Well, tonight, we have several people who have documented multiple Grand Slams, ranging from a second to many more. We want to recognize all of them as a group, so please hold your applause until everyone has been introduced. And as your name is called, please make your way to the stage quickly. Virginia's Mark Ossel achieved his first Grand Slam, number 1612, back in 2010. Mark spends a lot of time hunting international wild sheep and capra trophies, but has not neglected the animals found in North America. Mark's journey toward his second Grand Slam began back in 2013 with a doll. Mark took his second stone sheep from British Columbia in 2017, and it was a great one. The following year, Mark traveled back to BC, only this time he was after California bighorns and had a successful hunt. Mark achieved his second Grand Slam with a Desert Bighorn from Mexico in December 2018. Susan Tui of Michigan completed her first Grand Slam back in 2001 and received documentation number 964. Her quest for her second Grand Slam began with a stone sheep from British Columbia in 2005, and she followed that up with a doll sheep from the Yukon. Susan's California Bighorn from BC came next and she took that ram in 2012. Susan achieved her second Grand Slam in November 2018 with a Great Desert Bighorn from Chihuahua, Mexico.
Kent Deligans of Texas is being recognized tonight for his third Grand Slam. Kent has done a tremendous amount of hunting in North America, and he has 16 North American Rams to his credit. Those include six Dolls, two Stones, one Fannin, three Rockies, one California, and three Desert Bighorns. Kent's third Grand Slam consists of a Doll from 1990, a Fannin from 2007, a California Bighorn from 2004, and a Desert Bighorn from 2017. Kevin Small of California completed his second Grand Slam back in 2016 and went on to complete a third Grand Slam in 2018. Interestingly enough, all four sheep from his third Grand Slam also qualified Kevin for the 700 Club, which we will be recognizing at tomorrow night's banquet. You've been seeing some of those rams on the big screen. And they included Rocky Mountain Bighorn from Alberta taken in 2014 an Alaska doll from the Chugach Mountains in 2016, a Desert Bighorn from 2017, and his most recent ram, a fine stone from BC, taken in August 2018. Wayne Farnsworth Jr. of Ohio has done a tremendous amount of North American sheep hunting using a variety of weapons. The fact that we are recognizing him for a fourth Grand Slam should prove that. It was with a muzzle loader during 2012 that Wayne was able to take his doll sheep from NWT, then a stone sheep from British Columbia, and finally a Rocky Mountain Bighorn from Alberta. It was with a rifle that Wayne achieved his fourth Grand Slam with a Desert Bighorn taken from Carmen Island in 2014. Next we'd like to recognize Jeff Damaski of Colorado for achieving his seventh slam in 2018. To date, Jeff has taken seven dolls, seven stone sheep, a fannin, 10 Rocky Mountain bighorns, two California bighorns, and nine desert bighorns. You've been seeing the four rams that make up Jeff's seventh Grand Slam on the screen, and they include a South Dakota bighorn taken in 2014, and a desert bighorn also taken in 2014. In August 2018, Jeff took a doll ram in the Yukon, and later that same month, added a great BC stone sheep to round out his seventh Grand Slam. Well, that completes all Grand Slam awards for 2019. Let's give them all one more big round of applause.